What's going on everybody? Today we got a 2014 Honda Accord. I've had a lot of requests asking about Honda IHDS and programming Honda PCM. So come on along, we're gonna show you what's going on here. First I wanna let you know, we do have our battery maintainer hooked up to maintain proper battery voltage at all times. And we do have a Cardiac 3 Plus that we're using here. So here we are on the IHDS software. We wanna go ahead and uh, select our device. We're gonna use a Cardiac 3 Plus and hit start. At this point, we could go right to the J2534 rewrite program, or we can connect to the vehicle and read all of our codes. So I think the best thing to do is do a complete code scan of the vehicle before we get started. So the uh, HDS is connecting to the vehicle. And our selected interface is the Cardiac 3 Plus, so we're gonna go ahead and hit OK. And it says my license will expire in three zero days. We gotta get around that. We'll fix that real quick. We do have an active license. We do have a fresh download and update install here. So we go ahead and log in and this will make our license update. As you see here, they always give you the latest issues and stuff that they know about. We always want to make sure that our VIN number is proper for the vehicle, and it is. Hit the check mark. Now, at this point, we have access to Honda Systems. This tab of IHDS, if we hit the check mark, it will give us uh, direct access to all the individual modules within the vehicle. So you see here, you can select and pick and choose which module you want to uh, start a diagnostic session with or have communication with. Uh, what we'll do here in this instance is we're going to click on this all DTC check. And this does take some time, so we're gonna hit the yes button, make sure we shift the parker neutral, and then turn the ignition off. And then turn the ignition back on. Now this will automatically go through the entire vehicle and check all DTCs. So super important to do this, that way you can document any problems you may have. I always tell you guys, if you're doing this type of work, make sure you document everything so you don't get blamed or a finger pointed at you for a problem that existed before you even programmed it. Okay, so that took about four or five minutes to get done here. And we can see we got a history code of 2101 in the ECM and also a couple of ABS codes. We're going to go ahead and document this information. Anytime we have a PC-based uh, diagnostic software, there's usually an easy way to create a report to save for our customer. In this instance on the IHDS, it is a print icon up here. We're going to go ahead and print the PDF and hit OK. And we're going to go ahead and save that. And if you want to see what that looks like, we can open that up right here. And you're going to see it makes a nice PDF document for our customers. It's got the year, has the model and VIN number stored and all that information. So that is a great resource. So back to our programming, the customer had requested we update the PCM to the latest calibrations. So at this point, we wanna exit out of the IHDS. But before I do that, I wanna show you one function in the PCM. Not all scan tools will do this. When you're in the IHDS software, you can actually get the PCM identification or the PCM calibration number. Now there really isn't, if you're in a quick hurry and you just want to update a PCM, uh, you don't have to go this route. I just want to give you an option to see what's going on here another way. When you go to Honda Systems and select that, and then we'll select our powertrain control module, which they call PGMFI. Click on our PGMFI. And if we just go into DTCs or data list, any which way we go, on the top here is the calibration number. It's 37805-5A2-B710. That is the current calibration in this vehicle. So I just wanna show you a way you can document that. But at this point, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to back out of this screen. And we're gonna hit the back button and the back button 
and the back button one more time, we want to get back to the opening page here. And we're going to go to the J2534 rewrite. Now at this point, you don't have to type anything in here. You can just leave this screen blank, or this fill in section blank, and let's click on the start button. And this pulls up the screen. This shows you the database was last uh, updated the 21st of December of 2020. This is the latest uh, update uh, download from IHDS. I just updated it today. So we're gonna go ahead and hit start. Now one of the things that's important before you hit start, should have told you, you see this number here, 2223? That's how many calibration files are in this software package. When you hit the start button, we wanna make sure that we see that number here. I think Honda fixed the bugs they had, but for a while, uh, I think it was back when there was only 1,900 calibrations. Sometimes it come up on the next screen and it only say that there's 72 available or 85. And if you want the program, it would air out sometimes a brick of computer. So always make sure that you have this number matched the first number, the calibration files. So we're good to go here. So we're gonna hit next. And it's telling us what to do. Make sure you got our booster on here, connect the pass-through device, hit next. On older versions of the IHDS software, the J2534 rewrite tool, would list all the modules that have the ability to be updated. This newest version seems like it only populates the modules that have updates available. We are concerned with an update for the PGMFI, so we hit select, and it tells us that that same number of calibration we had before, the B710, is uh, updatable. It goes to a B720, and we're gonna say that yes, we wanna update that by hitting the enter button, and then enter one more time, and we are programming. All right, now it says the PCM update's complete, so we go ahead and turn ignition off, follow the directions. And we gotta turn the ignition on within 60 seconds. And we get a, a message that says programming is complete. So it gives us uh, a list of what we did. And if we hit the print button here, we'll also print that. So as you see, that's how you update the PCM in a uh, Honda. Pretty easy to do with the J2534 software, IHGS. Not a big deal. The hardest and longest part is installing the software for the first time. It will take you about an hour or so, or maybe two to do. But we'll make sure we got a runner here. And we'll go back and just make sure there are no codes stored. I always like to do two key cycles to make sure nothing's uh, pending. Sometimes if you have a hard fault, it'll pop right away after two key cycles. All right, so we're gonna to go to Honda Systems and we're just gonna go into our powertrain control module because that's the one that we programmed. Make sure there's no code setting. And there's no codes found. So if you like these type of videos, let me know, like and subscribe. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave it in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If your shop's looking for training like this, uh, whether it's J2534, GM, Chrysler, Honda, Toyota, Ford, whatever, I can help you out. Give me a call. I do Zoom training over the internet and also uh, live consultation uh, via Zoom and also log me in and stuff like that. Have a great day.